mobile homes that look like million, multi-million dollar homes. Yeah. And that's kind of what we did here. We copied designs of new construction. People are so comfortable with the fact of saying I paid rent, and people aren't comfortable <laughs> with the fact of saying I live in a mobile home or I yeah. bought a mobile home. What's up guys, Enrique here, PRG Real Estate Broker and Team Leader. I'm here with my buddy, Mr. Franco TV, Franco <laughs> Mobile Homes, the man the myth himself. Franco, where are we at, man? You told me to meet you at this mobile home park. Uh, I was expecting a trailer. I, I didn't know what we were getting into, man. <laughs> I come in here and I see this beautiful, fully remodeled, uh, is this even a mobile home? Not even remodeled, we built this from scratch. So this is a mobile home. This is what people, it's, it's something that we're really trying to change the stigma on because there are a lot of rundown trailers and old mobile homes. And this is what I have been focused on is, uh, is building much nicer affordable housing. And one of the avenues I saw opportunity in was mobile homes because they still have decent square footage. My question was why can't we build bigger and more beautiful uh, mobile homes that look like million, multi-million dollar homes. Yeah. And that's kind of what we did here. We copied designs of new construction, white shiny quartz, stainless steel, uh, and all that stuff around. And and we've been executing that consistently and we're getting better and better every time. So this is something I'm proud of and I'm, I really wanted you to be here to see it. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad to support. I mean, so um, you had told me that you, you buy an older mobile home, right? Or something that's a little bit run down or towards the end of its life. Mm -hmm. And then you knock that down and come bring this brand new one on here. How does the process work? Exactly. There's different routes. I mean, there's some people that are living in an old trailer or mobile home that want to upgrade and, and, and convert their home to a new uh, home like this. Yeah. And there are cases where um, we help park owners, whether people get evicted. There are cases where people have to short sale um, or sell their home quickly. Yeah. And then uh, when we're able to create a sustainable uh, amount of uh, profit, but also make uh, an affordable housing uh, option like this in, in cases. So we'll pick up the old home, we'll either take that out, put it on a, another lot, or we'll demolish it. Uh, we redo the foundation. This is right here that we're in. We It's built in a warehouse, in a factory, and build it so efficiently, so all the labor costs is 80% of the labor is done out in Oregon, oh, and then we okay. deliver it out here, uh, and we're able to keep it super cost effective. Yeah. So construction out here, it's really expensive, but when we do, when we can build it outside of a warehouse, uh, like in uh, Fresno, Lindsay, or Oregon, mm -hmm. uh, we're able to keep that cost low. That's one of the key things of why we can't create more housing options out here. And that's one of the reasons why housing is so expensive out here. Yeah. It's because labor is huge. Yeah. And what does something like this go for? Once it's all said and done, what's the price range of what this will sell for? This one right here is at 335000 So it's a 1,500 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, awesome great room like you see here. Um, and like I mentioned to you earlier, a home like this single family wise would be close to about like one, definitely over 1.2 million, uh, probably 1.4 or so if it's in like the Boston Hill like Yeah. That. So definitely. guys, so if you guys, if you guys check out this place and you'll see in the video, this place is nicer than some of the condos and townhouses that we're showing. And especially for clients out there, what I see the opportunities for clients who are like, they can only qualify for up to 400,000, right? They're just barely trying to get their foot in the door of home ownership. There's not a lot of options here in the Bay Area if your budget's that low, right? So this Absolutely. now creates a whole nother option. You're either gonna find like a one bedroom condo, which is probably an older unit, probably a bit run down, or you can get something beautiful like this that's in a you know, mobile home park that's mm -hmm. fully, you know, fully redone, brand new, never lived in, right? Yeah. I mean, on top of the line, man. So I see this as a great option for, you know, a lot of clients out there who are just, you know, trying to get their foot in the door. Yeah, and what we're finding is it's a perfect place for uh, like first time homeowners or people trying to get into real estate ownership. Uh, and then we also have people coming from uh, boomers that have their kids moved out, they don't want to take care of a big real estate home, they want to downsize and not have stairs or stuff like that. So it became a perfect place for people, kind of a middle point between spending so much on rent or risking a whole lot on a real estate. So it's a good middle point yeah. for people. I mean, you can see the value in it when, when people are paying 3000 a month on rent for something like this or more. Yeah. People are so comfortable with the fact of saying I paid rent, but people aren't comfortable <laughs> with the fact of saying I live in a mobile home or I yeah. bought a mobile home. But when you look at the financial standing of it, yeah. you're actually in, a so, in so much of a better position because yeah. you still get appreciation, equity buy down, uh, you get uh, tax write-offs as well. And those are those are things that you don't get when you're renting. Yeah, and that's that's what I like guys is that it's, it allows someone to take that step, become a homeowner, appreciate over time. And especially out here in the Bay Area, because there's such a high demand for housing, mobile homes are still appreciating. They're mm -hmm. appreciating that at, at a solid rate. So uh, guys, I wanted to open up, you know, clear the stigma with a lot of people, right? A lot of mm -hmm. people think mobile homes, they think something run down. But mm -hmm. when you invited me here, man, that completely people changed. People think eight mile M&M. Yeah, like... M&M, right? <laughs> <laughs> that completely changed, you know, exactly. you know my mindset. And uh, I think this is definitely an option that I want to be able to bring to our clients and say, mm -hmm. hey, here's another option for you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I mean, speaking on that too, one thing we didn't touch on was when you drove through the park, yeah. I mean, how did you feel the vibe was? 
It was good. I mean, you have you have a community pool, you have a little park here in the area. I actually know this neighborhood because I grew up right down the street mm -hmm. where my parents' house is at. Um, so I know, I know the area. It's definitely you know come up a long way, and, and the park is it's a lot different than what I remember it being when I was a kid. You yeah. Know? So yeah. <laughs> so, so good work, man. I appreciate you uh, having me out here, uh, guys. If you guys you know have any interest in the mobile home option, or just want to you know have some questions that you want to answer, or find out a little bit more about financing and all that stuff, how it works, uh, feel free to reach out to me and my team and. Franco and I will collaborate and put something totally. together for you guys. Yeah, and, and I've learned so much from him as well. You know, he does a lot of good stuff on the real estate side and it helps me out kind of learn how we should structure things. So I appreciate that from you and had an inspiration on doing more video content like you're doing. There we go, bro. I look so, forward to seeing you, man. Awesome, Thanks man. Thanks for having me out. Thanks for being here.